Okay, real quick. Um, <clears throat> I should have mentioned this to begin with. Look, there's a lot of people that do not believe in the rapture of the church. Um, there's some that might may not even believe in the seven-year tribulation. But there's those who do believe in the seven-year tri tribulation, but do not believe in the rapture of the church. And that's fine. As long as they believe in Jesus Christ and the gospel his death, burial, and resurrection. You know, as long as they have him and they truly believe that and he's in their heart and they, they've they called upon his name, you know what? That's fine. When the rapture does happen, they'll just be surprised. And you know what? There's no sense in argue, arguing with each other. We are followers of Christ. We are not supposed to uh, spend our time arguing with each other. We're supposed to be out in there helping people. Giving people the good news. Telling people about the gospel. Telling people what's to come. Warning them. Spend your time doing that. Let's not argue. If you want to send some mean comments towards to me. I'm just. I mean. I would love to hear. I would love to. I would love you guys' comments. But. If you're going to send, some, send something ugly and hateful. And then tell me that um, I'm a liar. And. I'm speaking false, uh, false doctrine. You know, I'm just going to have to delete you. I would delete your message. And that's not on hate. It's just my way of not trying to fight with somebody. Let's stop fighting fi fighting, and stop arguing. I know. <laughs> Son's laughing at me. Can't speak right. But come on. We're supposed to be cheerful. We are about to be going home. Let's cheer up. Let's, uh, let's use our last moments to help people. To do our best to let everybody know what's about to happen. Come on, you guys. We're, we are a family. And family works together. When we get home... The arguments aren't going to matter anymore. Come on. The only thing that's going to matter is, you know, did we get enough, did we use our time wisely? Uh, do you know where the remote is? <laughs> um, no, I do not. You're going to have to search, but you're going to eat that at the table and not out in the living room. So, come on, okay. you guys. Let's use our time wisely. If we had, if you knew that we had one day left, if you knew that, would you be on here or out there telling everyone else, fighting with your brothers and sisters that, oh, you're wrong about this. The scripture says this. Um, this is what I think is going to happen, and you're wrong. No, you're not. You're going to be like, huh, ain't got time for that. I need to spend what little bit of time I have this one day left getting to everyone. Get, telling everybody. Making sure that people know. Not making sure that people who do know are wrong. They need to be corrected. No, if you believe in Jesus Christ and the gospel, there you go. You don't need to be corrected. You need to let others know. You were given the truth. Someone lit your torch with the truth. Light someone else's torch with that same fire and let give them the truth. Someone that let me know got their fire, the fire that God gave them, or some, someone, you know, God's fire, their torch was lit. They came over and decided to light my torch and give me the good news. And now I have light in my life. Now let's continue. Let's pass that flame along. Let's, let's give some truth around here. Alright? And stop arguing. We don't have time. Alright? Time is up. Time could be up tonight. What are you going to do with your time? Love you. Bye.